Okay, could you tell me one good thing about going in on the cargo bike? If I'm at the front, um, I can hold on to the seat and see your bottom. That's your reason. <laughs> Hello, I want to demonstrate the versatility of the Astali e cargo for families. Because this little beauty right here is not just a kid carrier, it is an everything carrier. Hello. Hey, you One kid, two kids, three kids, dogs, partners, friends, plus all your general cargo. Quite simply, this is a second car killing, smile inducing, environmentally friendly machine. Let's start with a quick look at the setup. Okay, so this is the family pack setup, which means the rails here that nicely protect your kids and the footrests are included. My little ones are four and six, so I put the youngest in the back in the Urban Nicky Junior seat, which has a foldable back and a strap, of course, and the eldest goes in the single family bench at the front and holds on to the sides. So, let's let the diary begin. Okay, it's Monday, it's nearly five o'clock. That means it's time to get the little ones from school. Now, I'm having to think about a few more things than normal, because I've got cameras on the cargo bike, but what I'm not having to think about is parking the car. Okay. Here we go. So it's not the biggest village where I live, and we often walk to school. It just takes a bit more planning. You've got to leave 25 minutes before the start. Um, and that's fine, it's good for their exercise, but then for me especially, that journey coming back is another 25 minutes that I don't really need walking. So the cargo bike's a beauty because it's five minutes there. It's five minutes back, and there's so much time in my back pocket. And I guess more important than the comparison to walking is the comparison to driving. Now, we sometimes drive if I've got to go onwards from the school, but so many people drive. Not enough people are walking or riding, and it just means that the village gets really congested. And the parking is the other problem. Obviously, it's just not set up for it. For all the roads, the village become blocked. The pavement gets blocked. But people just spend ages trying to fight for parking spaces and it ends up taking them longer than it did take to drive to school itself. So more of these on the school drop is a beautiful thing. Now as I'm riding in, it's a bit up and down hill wise, but the motor's pretty meaty on this. And you know, it's a long tail, so it essentially rides like a normal bike. I've forgotten I've got a cargo bike now, essentially. The only thing you need to remember is that you're a bit longer. You have gotta remember your turning circle. And that's why we went for a long tail. We wanted something that was a good transition for people who perhaps hadn't done cycling and the school drop before. Moving into a long tail is really a small step. And we're pulling up near the school now. And yeah, I do my usual thing and I park about one meter away from the entrance. That's the beauty of it. Okay. So we get the little helmets ready. This basket here at the front is ideal. And my youngest, he's in an Urban Nicky Junior seat. So I just get the uh, back of the seat ready and the straps down so he's ready to go. Hello, monkey A. Hello, monkey B. How are you doing? I love your bike, I'm going to Oh, that's kind of you to say. High fives all round. Woo! High fives all round. One more, one more. One more, better connection. Yes. yes. Theo, do you want to climb in first? The key question is, would you rather be going home on a bike or in the car? Car, great. I mean bike. Thanks for helping. <laughs> Woohoo! Bye. And that's the beauty, you get to talk to people on the way, the kids yeah, saying hi. Drive faster, Daddy. Drive? I'm cycling. Addy, tell us while we're riding, what's good about the cargo bike? I like feeling the breeze and it's just nice and calming. I, I really like how you can say hi to your friends because it's just easier. Because when I in a car, you have to open the window. Sometimes you realize the window is locked, so then you can't open it and say hi. Sometimes you want to say, Mummy, Mummy, I really want me to open my window. And then they say, No, you don't have to. So it's just much easier when you're on a bike. And what about the man behind you? Does he like it? Yeah. You well, like it, Theo? Yeah. I like it when you go fast on the hill. So now we're going in our house and a bit wobbly because we have stones on our drive. And now we're getting in. Bye. Marks out of 10? 10 out of 10. Theo, marks out of 10? 10 out of 10. 
20. You can't beat that score. Right, let's take a closer look at the features. First, the front and rear lights are integrated and activate automatically. And I'll show you what that means. So if I cover the sensor, you see the lights turn on. The RST front suspension is adjustable. The Schwab Supermoto tires are chunky and puncture protection. And you'll see that the front wheel has quick release for easy transportation and storage. On that theme, the pedals fold. And in one simple manoeuvre, the handlebars fold down too, like so. The Starly e-Cargo is belt driven, giving you smooth riding and ultra low maintenance. The mid-drive motor is 250 watts and peaks at 110 newton meters. Enviolo stepless gearing means you can change gear even when static. The whopping 840 watt hour battery is removable and the sturdy stand is roll on, roll off. We've got powerful Tektro hydraulic disc brakes, nice and robust metal mud guards, and the rigid aluminium frame carries up to 210 kgs. The multi-purpose rear rack can handle a payload of up to 90 kgs and the removable front basket comes as standard and carries 15 kgs. Right, back to the diary. Okay, so today it is hill test day. We're in the middle of the Chilterns here, so it's pretty monumentally hilly. And we're looking up at probably the steepest hill in the area. What do you think, Theo? Yeah. It's the steepest hill we can find nearby and we're going to test it out today with a full load. So all the kiddie stuff in the bag ready for the day and two little monkeys in the back with pockets full of stones. <laughs> Only kidding, that would be silly. Let's see. I have one pocket with a stone in it. You didn't tell me this. Okay, here we go, setting off. Uh, the beauty of the Enviolo gear system is I can just change gear from static. So I'll use the gears first of all. Shifting a bit higher, shifting a bit higher, shifting a bit higher, shifting a bit higher. So now I've found the highest gear and you know I'm fairly slow because the hill's quite steep but I'm still just in the middle power mode. So let's turn it up to turbo mode. Oh yeah, a little bit more give. And boost mode. So this is on full power now. I'm in the lightest gear and it's honestly, a breeze. Kids, it's pretty, we're going pretty quick, aren't we? No. So I'm still turning the pedals, but the amount of effort I'm putting in through my feet is actually still very, very low. Hopefully, you guys get an idea of how steep this hill is. I'm still in boost mode. In fact, I can't change the power mode now anyway because I don't have a free hand on that side. But the point of this is, we wanted to get something that was just perfect for anybody to be able to do the school run with kids having not ridden before. And we spent a load of time specking the software and making the kind of power balance and power delivery through the power modes perfect to get to this point where we are now. And I've just climbed a mighty, mighty hill. Honestly, it's really steep with two monkeys on the back. And you know, you can tell I've I'm slightly out of breath, but that's partly because I'm talking. Just zero burn on the legs. That is so doable for me, but at the same time, for anybody new to cycling or a bit older, or with knee issues or hip issues, we try to make this the perfect family cargo bike for climbing. You can't beat a preschool hill climb. Now, as you can see, we've got the all weather cocoon fitted onto the bike. The primary reason for this, obviously, is to keep them concealed, keep them dry, keep them contained and safe when you're doing a school run. It also comes with a poncho, which toggles up to their neck to keep them dry in really, really wet weather. But what I wanted to touch on is the kind of secondary reason for this cocoon, the versatility factor, which comes in really handy after the school run, or should I say, school runs. Okay, classic uh, Tuesday crisis. We didn't realize that it was bringing a teddy to school day. So I've had to dash back to get this guy. Phew. Okay, let's make this realistic. Imagine for a second there wasn't a teddy bear crisis this morning and we're going straight from school to go and run some errands. So because we're pretending we're still at school, we've got the kids' helmets here in the front basket, but that doesn't matter because we obviously have the whole of the back, the whole cocoon to fill up here. Anything we get can fill up this whole cocoon section right down to where the footrests are and they act as a base for it. So that means it keeps the bottom really stable. So it's really good for bottles and milk and anything like that. But yeah, we're gonna fill up this whole space or as much of it as we can today. 
Uh, you'll notice the shopping bags are already in there. I stuffed them down there this morning under the kids' feet. So here we go, ready to shop. Hop over the electric charging cable. There goes the Tesco lorry. Probably should have just gone to home delivery. Nah. So we're out of the middle of the village now onto a slightly larger road. The beauty is when you're in the cargo, and especially with the kids carrier at the back, people just give you that bit more room because you feel like more of a presence on the road. by the entrance, it's pretty cool, it's pretty easy. And look, when you look inside, I've you know barely filled this up at all, it was only one basket full, kind of a weekend shop, nothing more than that. But the point is the same, you can fit tons and tons and tons more in here. This cocoon is a monster of a trunk for all of your shopping. Hey, just that please. Sure, this is a little bit gimmicky, but I love just being able to get back to the cargo basket and literally chuck it in, job done. Okay, well there we go. The cocoon is full of stuff. Kids are at school. And I'm starting my day having not used the car. Got a load of fresh air, got some exercise and the kids are happy. Done a little bit for the planet too. It's a nice way to start the day. I've mostly had my two kids on board, but this seating arrangement means it's really, really flexible. So if you remove the Urbaniki seat like so, I've obviously pre-loosened this, and you chuck in another bench like at the front, suddenly you've got even more versatility still. Now if you're doing a school pickup and you've got three kids or you're going to a friend's house and you're taking three or four, it really, really comes into its own. I've had my wife in here, you might have your dogs, your cats, we do loads of cat and dog baskets as well, plus whatever your business is, you can have sports equipment, flowers, you name it. It, it fits in the Astali e-cargo. And because I failed to fill the cocoon at Tesco, here's what we took to a picnic a few days later. Okay, Addy, take us through what we've got here roughly. In your so, right hand, most importantly. Hello, I Yeah. And we've got some cricket things. So we've, we've squeezed the cricket stumps down the side. Yeah, we've got a cricket bat. And the cricket bat. Um, Theo's rucksack in the middle here. The yeah. family water behind him. There's loads of space here behind the seats. A cricket bat. Uh, we've got the the big giant um, weights that go under the cricket stumps. You might not be able to see that. Addy's rucksack on the back, yeah. caps on the back. There's then a in the bag to the And there's a bag there. And then on the front, we've got our basket with our speaker inside for a bit of music. Got some water bottles and bits and bobs in the basket there. Then round the mesh, we've obviously got the most important thing for the picnic, the food bag. Okay, so there it is, the Astali e-cargo with the family pack. Versatile, practical, and practically impossible not to have fun on. <laughs> <laughs>